All right, babe, I'm gonna show you how to park your bike. So you haven't done it yet by yourself. Uh, I've been moving your bike and all that stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do it with your feet because this, this seat is relatively low for you so you could do it with your feet and back up and stuff. But I'm also gonna get off the bike and show you how to move it with your hands. And we're gonna park in the spot right in front of you. So typically what we do as motorcycles I feel like the moving it with my hand one is the most difficult one for me. I'm not confident that I can handle my own bike. Yeah, we'll work on that. So That's what we're like, doing right now. <laughs> yeah, so I want to park right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to kind of angle myself almost to a point where now it's almost like I'm walking backwards with a slight angle. Okay, so this is how you kind of want to park your bike. So what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and put it in neutral. And let's say like right now it's flat. So it's a flat ground, so we can hear. It's a flat ground, so this one you can back in. If it's at an angle, kind of like incline, going into it, you're not gonna wanna back in, because you can't. We don't have it's reverse. Like this. Yeah, so you're gonna nose in on one that's like that. You're on one that kind of goes in, like the waters can go all the way to the back, yeah, it's drainage. You're gonna wanna back into that one, back in like this, because in order to get out, you need the power of the bike to get out. So those are the two situations. On a flat ground, you can do whatever you want. You can nose in, back in. I prefer to back in whenever possible. Okay. So what you, can, what you can do is actually shut it off. You can shut it off right here at this point. You don't even have, have to keep it on. If you you're backing be, it in or if you're pushing it in? If you're, if you're walking, it walking it in backwards, yeah. You could just do that. So what you want to do is, is just like how you're turning left or right, you're going to want to turn the handlebars, but then also look where you're going. So if you're turning left or right, you're looking left and right. We're going backwards or looking where we're going. So this is why you need to understand your, uh, your handlebars and your controls without looking, okay? So right here, just paddle walk it just like we did in class, but maintain that turn of the handlebars. Because I've seen you try to do it and you go in straight with the handlebars because that gives you the most balance, but now you're in a bad spot. Can I say something on this? What's up? I feel like what you're saying, I know what you're saying is anybody who drives a car knows what to do. You have to turn your freaking your steering wheel that way. But when I'm doing it and backing out of the garage, I'm so freaking nervous just to get it over the little lip in our garage. And it's at a decreasing angle that I'm like, just get it over that hump and then you can turn the handlebar. But I'm not, I can't. I, it, my brain is just like, don't drop the bike. Don't drop the bike that I'm not even thinking about turning the handlebar. Well, and then we'll talk about getting off the bike and moving it with your hand so that little hump and that decline is not a big issue. Oh, so, that thing scares me. So flat ground, do that. Just go ahead and turn the handlebars and walk where you're going. And once you kind of get an idea of where you're straight, if you want, pause it, grab that front brake to stop yourself, mm -hmm. turn it. And if you want, you can use your mirrors. Or now, since I'm straight, I could just kind of look both ways and walk. This right here gives you the least amount of visibility, but most of the uh, stability because you're able to hold the bike with your legs and your body. Yeah. So that, that is how you park. Now you were saying before the video started that you almost backed into somebody in your car because they had their bike like- Way right, back there. Way back here. So when you park your bike, unless you're with like a giant group and you want to put three or four bikes in a spot, if you're by yourself, put it to the front that way people know that you have a bike there and nobody's yeah. gonna just rush in and try to get the parking spot and then boom, they hit your bike. That's almost what I did the other day. Mm -hmm. Scared and if the this, crap out of me. Yeah, it's it's crazy. And and if this is too much, there's actually another way of doing it that I did, just thought about and I, I do it all the time, but we're gonna go ahead and show you. Okay. Another thing you could do is when you get up to the parking space, if it's wide enough and you have a small enough bike, a lot of sport bikes are small enough, you can kind of just do this, kind of pull in. Let's say there's cars, that's why I didn't go in so so sharp. And do this, turn it. Oh yeah, people could actually see you there. And now you just blocked and off And it's not thing. like you're sticking out so far because cars and trucks stick out like wee out here. Yep, and this way nobody else can share your lane and nobody, like it's say if it's a connected parking space, they can't just, oh, I can kind of creep by your, your car. You know, or butterfly. your bike. Butterfly. It's good luck if it lands on it, right? Land right. on me. So now I'm gonna show you how to do it with your hand. And this is the one where, when we're in the garage, it's this kind of the scary part. This, yeah, this one I'm, I, I'm a, a struggle bus. <laughs> struggle <laughs> bus. I just want you to back it out for me every single time. I had the same issue um, until I got the sissy bar on my Sportster. 
And then it's another reason why I got the luggage rack because now you have a handle. On your bike, you don't have a handle. Mm, yeah, I just have the back seat little yeah. thing a thing. So let's say, like, just like the first uh, way of doing it, we're going to get up to here and I'm going to set myself up. So okay. just like last time, I set myself up. I'm going to shut it off. And remember, if you're in gear, it's not going to move. So you have to put it in neutral. And since it's in neutral, I'm going to put my side stand down, obviously. Turn it off. Everything. Oh, okay. Gosh. So this is the setup. And look how, look how we're almost already in our parking spot. Yeah. Okay. okay. So that's the ticket. So maybe if the issue is getting your bike out of the garage, we should set your bike up differently in the garage. Ha I think so. Have it almost sideways so that you're not having to pull it out and turn at a weird degree. Maybe we can have it sideways. I'll pull my bike in all the way and you could just kind of go at an angle. Well, I saw today when I pulled in that you had your bike reversed into the parking in our garage. So all you had to do is pull straight out. And I thought, why the fuck am I not parked like that? You know how I did that? You, you probably had the whole garage space to turn it. I did right? like a five point turn in the side of the garage. <laughs> and that is what we're gonna practice later on with you on your bike, because oh, that's, that's a safe place. It's just kind of hot. You just could get used to it. But that's why we have sliders. Anyways, so come on over here. No, I don't want to. Do I need to put my gloves on? Uh, no, you don't need your gloves on. Actually, here, get on this side. So we can actually practice on a bicycle pretty easily. So what you do is you grab the front hand grip and then you put pressure on the rear end. Basically, you could do it here, here, however long your arms are, whatever's comfiest. I personally like it right here, and I like it right where the seat is. That's usually okay. where I like to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick it up off the side stand, and if you notice, I can hold it with one hand because it's balanced. So bikes are, are literally balanced unless they have some weird, you know, 1970s, 80s, like bad design or something. But bikes nowadays are relatively balanced. Your bike is balanced. I'm holding it off the side stand. And if I could just do one finger in the palm, actually look at that, so it's balanced. So let's utilize that balance on the bike. So I'm gonna put it back on the side and don't be, don't be scared. Yeah, I'm already like, my heart is like tightening up. <laughs> okay. So what I'm gonna do, and what I've seen you do, actually this is what you do, you kind of stand like this. Let's not uh -huh. do that. Let's stand kind of upright. Like I'm going pee? Slight bend in the knees, just like you do much. This is like the fighter stance almost. And what I'm gonna do, just like how we were sitting on the bike, I'm gonna look where I wanna go, cool. Mm -hmm. Now just like a bicycle and the car and what we did while we're sitting on, I'm gonna turn the handlebars. You see how it's balanced? I'm just gonna, I'm getting out of the way so you could see it. See how it's balanced? Yeah. And I'm turning the handlebars. I'm just finding new balance points every single time. So now it's balanced in that aspect, okay. Full tilt, just like doing a sharp left turn or sharp right turn from a stop, you need to have it full tilt to get the full maximum turning radius from the start. So if we're in this position, we don't need too much, but I like to start off with it. So come on over here. Okay, so the feet, how I have my feet, if you see, it's kind of always spaced like this. I'm gonna shuffle, I'm shuffling when I move, okay? Shuffling when I move, holding pressure, and all I'm doing is maintaining balance and then slightly pushing it. Oui. Yeah, I got the side stand down. Typically, you want to you put your side stand up, but I'm, I'm doing this real quick. You see how one hand? That's bananas. I can't do that. You're finding the balance point and then kind of moving it. Okay, now that we're straight, if you want to, set it back down or keep it up. Straighten the handlebars. Move the side stand once again. Balance, we gotta keep, this, keep the handlebars straight. It's all about balance. But I don't, Shuffle. I'm not, I don't have great balance. Okay. <laughs> and that's all we do with that. So now it's your turn. Oh, geez and crackers. And, it, and it's the same thing as moving it forward. I'm just kind of putting pressure on it and just guiding it. That's all you're doing, think about guiding it. So I'm gonna set you up for an easy one. Okay. So I'm gonna put it kind of, I'm gonna put it up here so you have to actually move it and like with some distance, <laughs> but it's, it's but it's relatively straight. Okay, okay. So there's not much you're gonna have to do with that. Okay. So hand me this. So put your gloves on. <sighs> gloves will give you a better tactile feel. Let's say your hands are sweaty. The gloves won't have that sweatiness and won't be slippery. So it's always good. Getting so sweaty. So sweaty. So sweaty. All right. <sighs> Here, one second while we're here. So am I gonna wanna put the side stand up for this one? Yeah, go ahead and put the side stand up on this one. 
because <laughs> when you're moving it, if it accidentally gets off balance and you're still pushing it, it's gonna catch that side stand. <coughs> Bless you, jeez. Thank you, sorry. Disgusting, wrong mm. camera. All right, so let's go ahead and lift it up to the balance point. Uh, this, is how we're gonna, this is how we're gonna practice it. So step one, lifting it up to the balance point. Don't worry about the side stand yet. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna use my hip and then I'm gonna straighten the handlebar out, right? Okay, so if you have to use the hips, that's fine. But here, one sec, hold it right there. From what I can tell, it's leaning towards you just a little bit. So I want you to find that balance point to where you're almost like, you don't even have to touch it. Okay. So find that balance point. Right here. That's where it is? It feels like it. Okay, so before we even move it backwards, side to side or anything like that, on this balance point, I'll be here to catch it if it, it go ahead and get closer. Move your hips closer. There you go, slight bend in the yeah. knee. Yeah, see, you're taller than it, so you're gonna have to do slight bend in the knee. Slight bend, okay. I'm chest up, slight chest bending. up. There you go. Look where you wanna go. Move it to the balance point. Now at this point, we're not moving left or right yet. I'm gonna be on this side just it's in like case. It's wiggling way too much. Okay. If it's wiggling, it's not balanced. Like I'm serious, when you're balanced, you can hold it. Let go. That's really far. Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go, let go, I got it. It's balanced. That's far for me. It's far for you, but the bike, remember, look at, look at it from the back. Is it straight up and down? Yeah. You were having it like this. That looks straight up and down. No. You're gonna find the balance point. All right, so come back. <sighs> I'm not even holding it. Just kidding, yeah, okay. I am. So go ahead and <laughs> grab it. Now let's get back to where we were. Ah! So hold it, hold it, you got it? Yeah. Okay, so now move the handlebars slowly side to side or at least towards you, pull towards you Hold while on. trying to maintain that balance. I'll be right here just in case it comes towards me. We. Oui. So now find, find the new balance point. Not there. Okay, now turn the handlebars right. all the way, all the way. Find the new balance point. The reason why I say new balance point, it really, the contact patch hasn't changed, but the weight kind of transferred to you a little bit more. So you found the balance point? See, there you go, perfect. Perfect. Now. I feel like I'm concentrating harder than ever before. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's like holding those rocks. Oh my gosh, <laughs> don't breathe on me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. So I just now, feel like I, could, I should just sit on it the entire time. <laughs> but you can't sometimes. I know. So now go ahead and start moving it slowly okay, while well, maintaining that balance. So wait, remember, I need to put the kickstand up. You're just guiding it a little bit. You're okay, just giving it a little bit of pressure up. and it doesn't take much because it's on, there you go. Because it's on its balance point, it's gonna move. All right, let me so, find it again. So with this hand, I want you to kind of push like this. Just push. Wait, don't push me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me find my balance point. Give me a couple seconds, That's three fine. days later. All right, I think I feel it. Okay, go ahead. You're good. You're good, see how it's moving? Yeah. So if it starts getting towards you it's a little like bit. It's running away from me. <laughs> okay, see how it's getting towards you a little bit? That means yeah. you gotta find more of a balance point. Yeah, there you got go. heavier. Okay, if it gets heavier, that means it's falling on you. So you gotta find the balance point again. Okay. Look where you wanna go. <laughs> okay. This is like, so you have to give. Remember, speed is not always the enemy. Shuffle those feet, shuffle the feet. There you go. There you go. Take your hand off. Uh, it's off. Okay. I'm not I'm looking. Not, okay. Okay. You're in your parking spot. So yes. get to the balance point again. Get to the balance point. Okay. Side stand down. <laughs> Boom. Got it down. Oh, my back. One second. There we go. Sorry. The, uh, somebody's calling so I can't hear you. You put a black mark under your eyeball. That's fine. So that's, that's how you move it. That, um, that, that is all fine and dandy, you know, but when we're trying to get the fuck out of the garage because we're losing daylight, we're tired, and come on now, Nikki, I'm telling this myself in my head, you should have figured out how to back your own bike out of the garage. It's, it's like all this stuff is right here in my brain, and I'm like, which way do I turn my handlebar? How do I back out? You've been driving a car for how many years now and you forgot everything? Mm-hmm. That's how it works. So 
the next step for this mm -hmm. is to straighten the handlebars. Okay, let me do it. Well, I know, I'm gonna, okay. Well, you're gonna put it to the balance point, straighten the handlebars, and then we're gonna move it side to side, or just like this way. What do you way. mean so, side to side? So if you want, move it back all the way. <sighs> okay. I feel like I need ibuprofen for my back or something right now. You're getting okay. too tense. I know, babe. Rah! I'm not hulking it out. Whoa. So find that balance point. And remember, you have to rotate the handlebars. Oh, we do? Mm hmm. Because oh, yeah, you're going to go into the next spot. Well, so if you shit, want, I can't. I'm going to so put it down. Put it and down. Do it. Straighten the handlebars while it's on the ground. Mm hmm. Okay, now lift it up. And then when we were in the garage, you said I needed to choke up higher because I was doing it like this. Yep. So I'm going to do that. Because you don't want your hand to slip. There you go. So side stand. See the angle that you're at? Yeah, I'm like... So you're going to have to turn the handlebars the opposite way. Oh, fuck me. Can I go to the other side? Hmm? Can I go to the other side? If you want. No, I'm going to try it here. You're here to catch the bike, yep, right? Yep, I'm here to catch the bike. So move it. You don't have to do all the way. I know. But it might help. There you go. So get closer to the bike. Find that balance point. Remember, find that balance point. Look where you want to go. You're looking at the ground. I know. I'm okay, straighten up. Now straighten up. There you go. Okay, let me find the balance point. Mm -hmm. Wider legs is easier. This is what I do when I catch people. I found I it. Get... Okay, good. Yeah, whenever like there's like a drunk person on a call and stuff, I'd always get wide and get behind them because if I'm standing straight, that uh -huh. puts me off a weird balance. Like I could fall backwards. So you want to get wide in your stance, slight bend in your knee while you're doing it because when I'm catching somebody, I'm like this. Okay, I'm not like this. Right. So moving, 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 looking where I want to go, looking where I want to go. And that's what you have to do with these bikes. So when you get more comfortable, you could finally just kind of move it. See, see. And then I got to reverse. So I'm moving the handlebars. This is like a toy to you. Uh, it's, it's the balance. It's the balance point. So. If I can. Oh my gosh, don't do that. It's all about finding that balance. Even with the handlebars turned, it's about finding that balance. Okay? Okay. That's all it is. So we're going to practice that in the garage. This is your first time really kind of messing with it. Getting yeah. real instruction on it. So we'll mess around in the garage and uh, you'll figure it out. Can I try it again? Yeah. Cool. Okay.